Uh, hello, do you think this console generation will be longer than the typical seven years? Thank you for your brilliant content. Yes. Tom, <laughs> Sorry. Dive, dive straight in there, John. <laughs> you think it'll be longer than seven years? <laughs> Tom, go, go for it, actually. I, I think oh, so. I'm, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm reasonably sure it'll be seven. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be extended generation, given how long it's taken to get started. It feels like if this was like a, a race and we were like going up the gears on a, a manual stick, it would have been... We're still in gear two. Uh, yeah, I like agree. Two years in, it's just, yeah, it's taken a while, and we're not going to get to top gear anytime soon. I mean, outside of a few exceptions, maybe I'm the only one, but I kind of feel like these consoles are like the PS4 Pro Pro and the Xbox One Double X. You know what I mean? Where it's like, this is just continuing last gen. I, I haven't really right. felt that much in terms of like, real shift uh visually or like pushing to new levels outside of again just a handful of titles mm. and i think we're bumping up more against just the realities of modern game development and just the sheer investment time and it's it's venturing into a pretty scary place in that regard so i think just getting something made especially if you want that level of quality it just takes a long time it's not really feasible to do it in a way that how generations typically operated in the past Right. I think there's two ways we can look at this. First of all, if we're going to stay um, wedded to the concept of a console generation, it probably will be a long one, um, simply because the concept of coming up with a new machine that is at least twice as powerful as the current one is proving to be exceptionally difficult, um, especially with the rising costs of semiconductors, etc. I think um, there's two ways you can look at this console generation, this one. Um, it seems to me that there are uh, key things that have been addressed. We now have a decent CPU, but even there we're finding limitations already. Uh, we have a decent GPU. Crucially, the storage issue has finally been addressed. Uh, these are all vectors that can develop, developers can use to actually, you know, get a really decent generation of games out of the, out of this particular hardware. Um, but what if? the console generation as we know it is over, right? What if it is just iterative upgrades every four or so years? You know, let's say, you know, we're talking about Xbox Series S and X. Let's say there's a new Xbox that comes along that, you know, gracefully retires the Series S and, you know, the X becomes the power, um, the, the power level for the entry level. Um, so you would be looking at more of a mobile phone style thing. It's quite interesting. I was thinking back to um, when I went to Microsoft to look at the Xbox uh, One X. And before I actually saw the hardware, I had a, a pitch from uh, Mike Hubara at the time. He was there. And uh, he was talking about um, the concept that gamers similar to owners of mobile phones would want, you know, more immediate access to better technology. And um, that was kind of raising questions to me that, well, maybe we are going to be moving away from console generations and we're going to be moving more into a iterative upgrade period. And then there was the whole cross-gen thing with uh, Xbox. They were completely open about it. Our games will be appearing on both systems. So I do wonder whether Microsoft are already laying the ground for this for this sort of more gradual transition as opposed to hard and fast generations which was completely the opposite approach advocated by Mark Cerny and um, and the you know during the PlayStation 5 uh, run up to launch but in actual fact they kind of ended up following the same strategy uh, of you know mm -hmm. there was a, a couple of years of cross gen there I don't know it kind um, of feels like they changed strategy because early on there was a surprising amount of PS5 exclusive stuff right yeah like you had some mm -hmm. of the launch games you had Returnal you had Ratchet stuff like that and then they kind of regressed back to cross gen which makes me think that they got cold feet and changed their mind possibly, possibly yeah. did, did they though because you know grand uh, uh, gran turismo 7 true, was true. clearly a cross gen title yeah. god of war was clearly a cross gen title maybe you're right maybe you're right i suspect yeah no i'm sure those were always intended it's just interesting how they didn't seem to have much in the way of new console we, exclusives basically yeah yeah we would have seen uh the ripple effect of early project uh startups like uh, right when the console was launched we'd have seen those kind of appear now 
if they did have something in just like in development, but they just haven't appeared. So it's like. Forspoken. Um, oh. Forspoken. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>